What is up guys, the Fighting Therapist here, and today is just going to be an update of the post fight with Devin this past weekend. My thoughts about it, how it was. A lot of people ask me for a little bit of an update of how Devin's doing, so I'm gonna give you that too, as well as why I'm still here. But before we jump to the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you guys do know when these videos come out. So, why am I still here? Well, after the fight, I had to come back to the hotel. My flight was about two days later, so I had to get tested for COVID to make sure that I'm able to travel in my negative test. So I tested positive. I got no symptoms at all, besides feeling like a little nauseous, but not really. I kind of, I usually feel like that way when I'm stuck in a hotel room and not allowed to get fresh air. The air conditioning is just constantly on and I don't really have much room to kind of go anywhere. So I've been walking up and down this hallway, just trying to walk and move. Devin and his wife Jody uh, are still in the hotel as well, but so I've been FaceTiming Devin. We actually have a FaceTime today just to talk because I can't really do anything else. And uh, hopefully, I can get a uh, test. Uh, people could come to my room and get tested. I'm waiting for the organization to kind of figure that out for me. So I'm pretty much just here waiting for some good news. Now the update with Devin. How do I think the fight went? I think honestly with just three days or three training sessions, which was only done in Dubai together with Devin, with me and him like training together, doing pads, doing slip drills, doing bag work. He actually did some of the stuff that we practiced, which I was like really happy about, really impressed with. He was circling to Thor's right side, right? Cause he's a lefty. So Devin was circling to his left, always making sure that the left foot of his was on Thor's outside foot. And he was keeping his chin a little high, but that's okay. Cause his hand was right here, always like ready to parry, which I was still happy about cause I told Devin, Thor is gonna throw his long punches and I just wanted to remove that head and parry out of the way. Did get hit with some left hands and, and he even realized after the fight uh, that he was like, oh yeah, I, I, my feet were, my feet were like side by side. I didn't have my stance. I didn't move to the side that much. My head was still in the, in the middle a little bit. I wasn't like going back and forth. It's like so much to think about. I was like, yeah, I know man, but don't even think about that. You actually did some good stuff. He hit Thor with that overhand right that we were practicing, I think three or four times even. The first, he landed a nice two shots on Thor. And then when Thor was coming with big punches, Devin was coming under, hugging him, kind of closing that distance. So I was really happy about that too. On the other side of things, I don't really have anything bad to say because there wasn't really much time. There wasn't any time to do like hard sparring, right? One of the big things that Devin said was, he just wasn't used to like strong punches like what Thor was throwing. And that was because we couldn't do that, you know, three weeks ago in sparring. Devin had zero knowledge of anything. And then for us just to smack him down in the middle and get a concussion then like, and I said this in a previous video, like it doesn't make sense. So to control punches to the head is honestly the best way at that short time frame that we had, and I'm talking about me and the team at TriStar, to help him kind of get ready for that fight. All in all, I'm really proud of him. Did a really good job with what he remembered and what he was doing. Like, just circling alone and not staying there and backing up is already a really big thing. Also, after talking to Fures, so Fures messaged me after the fight, I messaged Fures Sahabi, and we were both in agreement, and I kind of agreed that if you guys watch the fight, there's the stoppage with the TKO and there's an eight count. Now, the first one, the first eight count, I would not have given it an eight count. I would have just done nothing and let them keep fighting. And then on the second one where they did the TKO stoppage, even though Devin got hit with the left hand, me and Fures, and I'll show you the text, we both agreed that it was way too early. Um, even my dad back home, who's been in the fight game for about 30 years, um, he agrees to it was, it was way too early for a stop. It was actually like at 22 seconds that they called it off. So Devin got in an eight count then, which I think he should have gotten an eight count just at that, at that period. It would have brought him down to what, uh, eight would have been 12 plus just a 14 seconds. Devin would have managed to move around for 14 seconds and at least finish the first round. He's like, I really wish I could have just done that second round. And I wish I could have had that opportunity to talk to him after that first round, give him a little bit of cues and notes and just kind of help him see what he can do in that second round. 
but just to give him that opportunity like that's the one side that I still think uh, it was way too early. Everyone was really worried about Devin and making sure that, you know, he doesn't want, like they're really trying to limit injuries here. So they know that Thor is more experienced. So I assume that they talked to the ref or they talked just in general saying, if you see it going south, kind of stop the fight. Uh, don't let it go any further. And I get it, but me as a coach, I told Devin in the back, I said, Devin, if it's not going well, I'm throwing in the towel. I don't care, that's what's gonna happen, I'm stopping the fight. So he knows that, he was aware of it, and it would allow Devin to at least go into the second round and be even happier than he already is, because Devin is already super proud of himself. I'm really, really proud of him. You know, he did what he could, and um, it was more for him. Like, me being here and helping him was just for him. So I'm happy that he's happy, that's pretty much it. I'm just giving you guys my take on it and what I think you know, should have happened or would have happened, but it's okay. It's all over now, but that's pretty much like the update. Now, before we end the video, there are some clips that I got from Matt Rhodes that uh, was behind the scenes and kind of just captured some footage. So you guys are gonna be able to kind of watch Devin after the fight, see what he has to say, see how he feels, just to kind of see what uh, Devin's emotional status was like right after the fight. So check it out right now. Man, Thor, dude hits, that dude hits like a pretty hard. Yeah, take a seat. Oh, did I hit him a yeah, couple times? Yeah, really one did. time? I well, thought I felt one connect. I wasn't sure. I just been speaking to him. He said he definitely felt what you brought him with. Yeah. yeah, I thought I got him once, but it's tough, man. Well, tough sport. Yeah. Tough sport. Really didn't know exactly what I was going into. I had all sorts of concerns. I definitely had concerns that he was going to hit me a lot, you know, that I was going to have a problem moving my head out of the way of his punches. Just a reaction time thing. Just the ability to, you know, slip and, uh, you know, duck his punches. I knew that was gonna be an issue. And and I think if Thor had it been, uh, I think if I had it been Eddie Hall, he would have been following those punches up a little bit more than he did with me. Hey, I, I think I hit him once. So I met my minimum standard of uh, performance, so. So no regrets about taking this fight. Huge, huge I just challenge. wish I could have. Uh, I wish I could have done a little bit better. Uh, I wish I could have uh, had, you know, just been a little bit more. Uh, I guess less cerebral, you know, more instinctive. This kind of an opportunity, I feel like it's a, kind of a once in a lifetime thing to be have the opportunity to step in against, uh, you know, a personal hero of mine, be able to step in the ring with them and kind of oh, go to war. What a, what a great memory I've created for myself. All right, so with that said, you guys got to see what Devin said after the fight. Got to get my take on everything and kind of the situation right now with uh, me being here still. But uh, I will keep you guys updated. But please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I will catch you guys soon. Have a good day. Peace.